Joe's partnered with Movember to urge guys to pick a mate and have a proper chat. To provide some inspiration, we've sent some local sports stars off rucking to lighten their load. Great up. It's a crack. Morning. Good days. Right, do you know what we're doing today, so? For November, just going to do a bit of rocking. Important to get out, have a chat with a friend where possible. So I think there's a bag down there, actually. I'll put your feet there if you want to. A few stones in it. It's the first one. Relationships. What relationships would be important to you or in your life, I suppose? Or? I suppose family, uh, friends, uh, girlfriend, I suppose, as well, in fairness. I um, think you need that, man, just to have you know, people that you can talk to. to let things out like for me it would be family as well um obviously girlfriend as well and my parents my brother um would be the, the four people i talk to most and as i've kind of got a bit older it's maybe just being around the panel a bit too you find yourself a bit more just you probably go to fellas more to I find it easier to talk to fellas about something sport related like um to get a, a bit of a you know a bit of advice after them it's actually nice to suppose meet up with someone away from the whole training schedule point of view and to, to go away, grab a coffee, go for a walk, you know, it's just to get out with someone and so I spend a little time and just chat away through a few things I think is it's good. The week before the All Ireland I lost my mind a small bit. Um because I'd say it was because I was travelling up and down to Galway and everything. Oh yeah sure right again at that time right? Yeah and I just jeez I was absolutely I was so stressed out. It was strange like and I ended up having a panic attack and I've never had one in my life. Jeez. And I lost my mind like and I didn't know what to do and I was with Casey like and she we were just like ring the should we ring the team doctor so I rang Mike um, and in fairness to him like he stayed on the phone for he was nearly on the phone for an hour with me. Um, it's about 11 o'clock at night, like, and um, in fairness, I mean, he, st he stayed on the phone for the hour, and his wife is like, some sort of, she's just like, oh, there's something. And she was talking to me as well, like, just to, you know, just kind of calm me down and just yeah. reaffirm me. But I'd say it was just an accumulation of everything that had been going on in the lead up to it that I probably had backed it up and said nothing to no one, yeah. and it just hit me like a wall. Let's see if you again first. Right, body image. That's probably been my Achilles heel for the first few years I was inside in camp. Like, I was more of the dad bod contender <laughs> <laughs> than the six pack. So I used to kind of beat myself with that though. But that's probably just leading to the Instagrams and things of the unrealistic image of what you're meant yeah, to look I like. Think, I think that's what people are always looking at. I think especially the last couple of years with social media and how I suppose common has become with especially younger fellas. Like, you know, you're sitting at home on the couch, you're, you're on Instagram, you're scrolling away, you're if you go onto your explore page, all you see is fellas in the gym, fellas, yeah. you know, with these six pack abs and stuff. And you're probably always thinking like, why don't I look like that? Or how come I am in that kind of a shape? Or what do I need to do to do that? Looking like that doesn't really mean you're gonna, it doesn't really affect performance probably as much as you might think it does. And then I suppose you can put too much focus on it and you start doing crazy things in terms of eating or whatnot, or just overdoing the workouts and overdoing that and burning yourself out. I'd be very, really more conscious of what are other people thinking if they see me eating a cake or something, you know? Yeah. And you, know, you would get it, you'd be out, if you're out having a cup of coffee and you have like, I don't know, you get something. Oh, you get for a treat or something, someone will walk past you know, and they'd be like, geez, you yeah. eating that now, you know? Like, you know, think that they'd be messing, but in terms of going out then in college, socializing, I actually found it tough in first year, I suppose, because we were we were still involved with the club at the time. Um, we were in Munster campaign at that stage in my first year of college. So, like, I'd be in on a Tuesday and a Thursday night in the house on my own in first year of college. I was like, oh, is this really what it's about? Like, is this is this the whole college life that I was hearing about for for the last five or six years? It's probably just choices you have to make at times in to stay in. And yeah. Your friends are are out. You know, it hasn't. It hasn't changed, but we probably get our enjoyment in from, you know, going to train and meeting fellas. That's probably how we meet fellas then more is, is like, even going for a walk, going for coffee. Yeah. Um, other ways of, of interacting with people, other ways of finding, I suppose, places where we can get a bit of enjoyment rather than being out in it. Out in the chair, yeah. How, no that's matter how social, enjoyable like, they were. <laughs> but I suppose that's just one of those sacrifices you're going to have to, to take if you want to push on, I suppose. Life now. So, uh, how is life now after the other and all that? Pretty good, man, yeah. It's probably flown the time since the start of August to now has absolutely flown by. Um, 
it's been so hectic like it, it has been crazy like you know every week there's there's something on but it's been good um we probably haven't had much time time to ourselves really you know it's kind of been you're here you're doing this one weekend next weekend new plans um so it's been really busy probably haven't had time to sit back with the family or you know with the lads to just probably take it in um and enjoy it on a personal level you've been kind of busy but um no it has been great it's been so enjoyable like the last couple of months they've been they've been really good um so you know quite happy with where things are at the moment in life you know definitely you, would you be similar how are you feeling uh yeah no geez um definitely on a high it's kind of easy to be on a high i suppose after in the other and then everything's just falling into place i suppose we went into girlfriend and clarney so there's a lot going on started working in this new school so I'm busy, but it's 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 good work. You know, it's a good baby. Probably has been times over the last few years when they probably haven't been haven't been that good. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Um, well, for me, anyways, it was a rocky three years to begin with, and it all kind of came into fruition this year. But I spent a lot of time probably just working away, training hard, and um, but just not hitting that next level. I became a master of sitting for <laughs> periods of time. <laughs> but um, look, that's, I think that's all part and parcel too. Of course, it wasn't. It's not enjoyable when you're not you're not you're not getting to play but I think from my point of view, similar to that, the last couple of years, my emotions fluctuate in a big way with results like you yeah, know, if we yeah, of course. If we win, everything's great. Everything's rosy. When things didn't go away then on the big days, um the last couple of years, you know, it would be it's very tough to take them. Um I'd like to think that going forward Hopefully I'll be able to separate the emotions from the result. I suppose the kind of question now is what are what are your ambitions? I suppose we've got to the pinnacle with you know, what is what are your ambitions from here on out? Like have you, have you set goals? Um, That's the story. First ambition anyway is navigate these steps. <laughs> You're going at a serious pace here. I thought that you'd be tired off the game yesterday. <laughs> Didn't know I was dragging you into this man. I oh I am blowing. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think, keep things in the present as much as possible, you know. I wouldn't like to think too far ahead. Um, Take things as they come by. I'd be, you're the same. Both very easygoing people. I think. Yeah, um, very laid back. Maybe too laid back for our own good at times, but not getting caught up in things too much and not trying to think too far ahead. Just to uh, live, live in the moment. I suppose, live in the present. Take a break after that, would we? Yeah. Or blowing heavy. Not as fit as I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Last stone. So, November. What does it mean to you? I think it's just raising awareness, probably, and people getting out in and talking together like we've come here for a walk today nice and casual getting out for a chat really we're great men to overthink things not us but men in general and um, that like how can i say this to another fellow he'll think i'm mad mm -hmm. um, and we overthink actually saying something when in reality we've all probably experienced something in the similar nature and we're, we're just scared about saying something but it's nice when you come out for a walk and just for a chat casual coffee and just yeah. chatting away and it just happens in the conversation i suppose that's probably the whole point of this campaign I suppose in a way is to encourage others to go out, be comfortable with each other. It's easier to do it when you're out walking with someone when you're I suppose keeping busy. We like to keep busy. Yeah. If we were just to meet, go to your house or something and sit down over the kitchen table it'd be a lot Conference. harder to, to talk about anything, look fellas in the eye, but I suppose hopping ball with fellas and keeping in touch and Yeah definitely. I think even you know an afternoon will notice you'll probably notice the fella might be having a rough time. You know, you're probably saying it to the rest of the lads that, you know, he's there's something going on there and we, we don't reach out and say, you know, is there something wrong? You're nearly waiting for them to come to you. Whereas we probably we can should be, be. be afraid to make the first yeah. move kind of a thing and just what you think, no, if I sell that to him, like, will he just kind of yeah. shut me down kind of a uh, Whereas if you say, but, we go for a walk today just for a chat, yeah. it could just happen naturally. Mm -hmm. It's obviously something that we're really very happy to be part of as well and to be supported yeah, in a yeah. like this. You might be able to grow a moustache, but. I've been trying. I have been trying. <laughs> if I came back this time next year, no, I still wouldn't have it.